Yeah. The boss up rising. Philly can't back out too far because they have to Oh, the that point. Nasty. <laughs> Oh, I just saw it happen in front of me. Dream Casper just removed Shadowbird from the game. He can't even log on anymore, Matt. That's how bad it is. Poker gets DC and it'll go down. <laughs> Dream Casper. You know he had to do it to him. Fetchuno tries to get back to the point, but Taylor, take a bow. Jonathan Sanchez, you're a monster. Wow, what a game. Boston, you should be proud of your team. I sure am. Instead of frantically trying to pick up players in the trade window like the Fuel or the Valiant, you knew that you had all the pieces to a great team already and just waited for them to fall into place, and the rewards are just starting to come in. Beating last stage's runner-up in Philadelphia is no small feat, and looking at your starting lineup, I can't see a glaring hole for enemies to exploit. You're 2-0 after week 1 and looking extremely strong. It would take, like, some massive controversy to take you down. And Dream Casper is being accused of pedophilia. And there's a ton of screenshots to back it up. And he's suspended indefinitely. Hey guys, Dividing by Zero here. I just want to explain some things before I dive into this topic. Firstly, if you've watched any of the videos I've done in the past week, you'd know that I use the text-to-speech program for my voice. However, the topics of this video are so serious that I feel a text-to-speech program won't give it the proper respect, which is why you hear me using my real voice right now. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to hear my voice more often, and I'll be sure to get myself a better microphone and do it more often. Uh, this is also why I won't be joking or memeing throughout the rest of this video, this just isn't the place. If you want some <laughs> funny memes, check out one of my other videos. Uh, secondly, even though the accuser has made her identity and her evidence public, I won't be revealing either of those in this video. I think it's super brave of her to come out about this, but I just want to be able to, to protect her privacy as much as I possibly can. I will include a link in the description below, uh, click it at your own risk. There aren't any immature photos, but there is some R-rated language, and just all around creepy behavior. With that out of the way, let's just get this over with. For any of you who decided to not click the link, I'll give you a quick summary. The accuser, who is a 14 year old who I'll name Kate, runs an Overwatch League fan Twitter account. At some point, Dream Casper, the 21 year old flex DPS for the Boston Uprising, saw this account and followed it. Kate was very surprised and impressed to be followed by an actual Overwatch League player and went into his DMs to thank him and the two kept talking from there. As the days went on, Dream became progressively more flirtatious. Again, click the link if you want more detail, but all I'll say is it got really creepy. After a while, Kate finally realized just how wrong everything was and how deep she had gone and cut off all ties with him. I'm gonna get this out of the way first. If this is true, and the evidence that Kate has supplied has been pretty damning, what Dream Casper did was disgusting. A 21 year old knowingly flirting with a 14 year old is never okay under any circumstances. I do not care who you are, you don't do it. You shouldn't feel any urges to do it. Doing it makes you a pedophile. There is no gray area here. Either you flirted with a 14 year old or you didn't. As of right now, both the Overwatch League and the Uprising have suspended Dream indefinitely while they investigate, which I think is the right move. If these accusations are true, I hope I never hear Dream Casper's name again. He does not deserve anything that he has been given and should be labeled a child predator for the rest of his life. But what does this mean for the Boston Uprising as an organization and as a team? His actions aside, Dream Casper had a ton of skill. He was able to play pretty much every DPS hero not named Tracer at an extremely high level. With that gone, Boston loses a lot of firepower. The trading window is closed, which means Boston has to make do with what they have. They've put mistakes in for a few maps, and he's shown promise, but he probably won't be able to live up to the same potential Dream did. The sad truth is that this team looks a lot weaker now. This is the downside to putting all of your faith into six players. If one of them screws up, you've got a one-way ticket to destination fucked. The Uprising season looks all but over. Dreamcasper's career looks all but over, and it's all because he decided to flirt with a 14-year-old. Dreamcasper?
if you happen to watch this and the accusations against you were true, just know this. You were given an incredible opportunity and you have wasted it. I don't care how good you are at Overwatch. What you have done is not only disgusting, but highly illegal. And people with much higher profiles than you have been destroyed by doing the things you did. I have no sympathy for you. Not only have you let yourself down, you've let your team down. You've let your fans down. You've let the Overwatch League down. And you've let the entire city of Boston down. You are pathetic. And I hope I never see you even close to the pro scene again. Goodbye.